Hi guys, today I'm going to be teaching y'all how to play Soap by Melanie Martinez on guitar. This song has been requested for the longest time by so many people, and I'm finally getting around to it. So here it is. The way I'm going to play this song is with a capo on the second fret. The reason for this is because if you play the song without a capo, there's a bar chord, and I thought it would be easier for beginners if I put the capo on the second fret and use different chords so you can play the song in the same key but without having that extra struggle if you're not quite comfortable with bar chords yet. What you need to know for this song is that there are four chords, C, A minor, E minor, and G. You're going to play your C chord with your ring finger on the fifth string third fret, and then your middle finger on the fourth string second fret, and your pointer finger on the second string first fret. For the A minor chord, you're going to put your ring finger on the third string second fret, your middle finger on the 4th string 2nd fret, and then your pointer finger on the 2nd string 1st fret. The E minor chord you're going to put your ring finger on the 4th string 2nd fret, and your middle finger on the 5th string 2nd fret. For your G chord you're going to put your ring finger on the 1st string 3rd fret, your middle finger on the 6th string 3rd fret, and then your pointer finger on the 5th string 2nd fret. Alright, the first verse we're going to start off by plucking to kind of give the song an emptier sound. And so the way that I'm going to pluck it is I'm just going to form my three different shapes for the verses. You're going to use the C chord, the A minor chord, and then the E minor chord. And the way you're going to do that is you're going to do C for two beats, one, two, A minor for two beats, one, two, and then E minor for four beats. But we're not going to do the down strums. If you want to do that, you can. If you find the plucking a little bit difficult, go right ahead and do that. But for my plucking, I just go ahead and form the chords. Even if I'm not plucking all the strings that I'm holding down, it makes it easier for just muscle memory and playing the song. On the C chord, I'm going to pluck the fifth string with my thumb and then the second string with my middle finger. And then I'm gonna mute after. Some of you have been asking me how I do my mutes in my other tutorials. Pretty much all you do is just smack your guitar. I don't really know how to explain it more than that, but kind of making a bear claw. And just practice smacking it and you're gonna do that on beat. And then for the A minor chord, I'm going to pluck the fourth and second string and then mute, and for E minor chord the same. The fourth and second string, but you're gonna do that twice because you stay on E minor for four beats instead of the two for the C and A minor. Watch carefully, and this is how the first verse is going to sound. Think I just remember something. Think I left the faucet running. Now my words are filling up the tub. In silent, you're just soaking in it. But I know you'll get out the Notice all your fingers pruning up. I'm tired of being. After you're done with the first verse, you're going to go into the pre chorus where you're not going to do any more plucking, but you're going to do kind of semi muted strums, which again, I guess I should explain because if you're first starting out to play guitar, it can be a little bit tricky. Normally, when you strum, you keep the back side of your hand off the strings. Like, I don't know if you can see it kind of like that, where this part of my hand isn't touching any of the strings, but when I do my muted strums, I kind of just rest, rest my hand right here, but not too much to where you won't be able to hear any of the notes, just a little bit, and I sometimes take it off. Going into the pre-chorus, you're going to do the exact same chords with the C for two beats, A minor for two beats, and E minor for four beats. The strumming pattern is going to be down, 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 up, semi-muted. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. This is how it will sound with the song. I'm tired of being careful, so trying to keep the water warm and let me under your skin. Oh, there it goes, I said too much, you know. strumming pattern for both pre-choruses. Going into the chorus, 
you're going to add a G chord instead of doing the E minor for four beats. You're going to do it for two beats and then go to a G chord for two beats. For the first half of the chorus, you just do down strums, two beats on each chord. I feel it coming on my throat. Guess I better wash my mouth out with soap. I really wish I never spoke. Now I gotta wash my mouth out with soap. I just lost my pick. The second half of the chorus you're gonna do down up down up down down up down up down up down down up down up down up down down up down up down up down down up. It's not as complicated as you think it might be. You just kind of have a little spaz attack with your hand. I really wish I never spoke. Now I gotta wash my mouth out so feel it coming on my throat. Guess I better wash my mouth out so I really wish I never and you'll notice that in the chorus I'm kind of doing the semi-muted strums again. When you kind of mute it more on the down and then play them on the ups. Down, 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 down. Also, for the second verse, you're going to do that same strumming pattern, but more muted than you would play it in the chorus. Think I got myself in trouble, so I fill the bath with bubbles. Then I put the towels all away I should have never said the word love I threw a toaster in the bathtub Sick of all the games I have to play If you can follow all of that, then you'll be doing awesome playing this song. If not, you can still do a great job by just doing down strums. Because those are easy, especially for beginners and it's not gonna make the song sound bad. I hope this tutorial helps y'all because I really want you guys to have more resources to be able to learn the songs that you want and to be able to practice and get better at guitar. Also, in the past on my channel, I did another Melanie Martinez tutorial for Pity Party. Go check that out if you like her and learn how to play it because that's an awesome song as well. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really do appreciate all the loving support that I get from you guys, and I love seeing comments. So please ask questions, tell me if this was helpful, and I'll see y'all later. Bye!